I don't know if you can hear that thunder. It's crazy, it's been so disgustingly hot and we haven't had rain for weeks and the grass was getting so dried out and brown. Now it just started pouring out of nowhere, which is good, it's much needed. Anyway, hi. Welcome back to another vlog. My hair looks crazy right now. So it's currently Monday. Today is a work from home day. And as soon as I got up this morning, I started deep cleaning my apartment because it's just so gross. My boyfriend has been here for the last few weeks and God love him but men are just so messy and he's been cooking dinner a lot which like i am so incredibly grateful for like it's so nice but he makes such a damn mess that i'm almost like you know what it's okay i'll cook i'll cook like i don't know if that's a guy specific thing or if it's just like a personality type i don't know i don't understand why if you're just seasoning chicken in a pan why is there seasoning like all over the place so anyway the kitchen was absolutely disgusting and i just feel like i don't know the whole apartment just felt so gross to me and i was like i can't deal with this another day longer i can't get work done and i can't like feel like i'm in a good clear headspace if it's a mess around me so yeah that is what i have spent the whole first half of the day doing. I just finished mopping. That needs to dry before I can put everything back. So I figured, let me just take a little break. I still need to deep clean both of the bathrooms and I have some laundry that I need to finish up, but not too bad. But I'm taking this little break to do my hair because it has now been about a month or so since i lightened my hair last and as you can see it's starting to get a bit grown out and i have a little bit like this area in here i had sort of root shadowed but i had copper on my hair underneath this so you can see it kind of poking out in the root area and the blonde on the ends is just starting to look really brassy and dull for now i am just going to refresh the root smudge and the toner so i thought i'd show you how i do that but first i am going to take a productivity shot because i am so tired i had a really long weekend i went to charlotte to help my friend Haley move into her new apartment. She got a new job out there. And then I've, you know, just been like, go, go, go all day today. So starting to hit a wall a little bit, but at this point it's like two or three in the afternoon and I'm tempted to have a second coffee, but I know that then I'm gonna have a hard time going to sleep tonight. So instead I'm gonna have one of these productivity shots I have been taking these consistently for the last couple weeks and I'm telling you, they help so much. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Magic Mind. Thank you so much to them. I just wanted to give you guys a little update because I shared with you a few vlogs ago how I had started trying these and they've really been helping. They just give you nice natural energy without that caffeine crash that you can get from coffee or energy drinks. And as someone who struggles with anxiety, I gotta be careful not overdoing it with the caffeine so this boosts your energy and focus helps you crush procrastination and elevates your mental clarity and you get the best results when you're taking it consistently over a period of time go ahead and click the link in the description and use my code samvay20 to get up to 56 percent off your first subscription of magic mind for the next 10 days so that's gonna help kind of give me a little more energy especially now that it's raining outside i'm feeling like i could lay down and take a nap but i'm like no i need to I need to keep going because after i do my hair i want to finish cleaning and then i have a video that i need to edit and post i can't slow down yet so for my toner i'm using all paul mitchell stuff which i feel like normally like i just was going through the stash of color i have at home normally i like mix and match different brands and color lines and stuff but this time it's all paul mitchell so i have the paul mitchell xg cremas these are cream demi permanent so anytime i'm doing to any toning or gloss i always do demi permanent color the creams are gonna have a little more stick and be a little bit more opaque than like a liquid gloss so that's why i want to use this for the root area because that warm copper up here it's stubborn so i need to make sure i'm really like getting 
good coverage i'm also applying it to dry hair for the same reason normally i would do it on like damp towel dried hair but if i do it on dry hair it's gonna stick better i am mixing the shades 4ba with 6ba i'm just gonna do like equal parts of both so it'll give me like a level five which is gonna be sort of like a dark brown because my natural root as you can see is quite dark and ashy so i want this like ashy chocolate color so that it'll blend into my natural root and cover that copper. I just wanna like blur this area, like from here to here. I'm gonna mix it with five volume developer because we just want deposit only, no lift. And then for the lengths of my hair, all the blonde bits, I am using Paul Mitchell the Demi, which is also demi permanent but it's a liquid gloss so it's going to be a little bit more sheer but again because i'm putting it on dry hair it will give it like that extra stick make it like a little bit more potent and i'm just going to mix 9v with 9g and just do equal parts so that way it'll just give me like a nice beigey tone because i don't want it to be like too ashy because i feel like that can look a little flat and for those i'm going to mix that with the processing solution so again it's going to be just deposit only i am going to start with the root color and i should probably be wearing gloves to do this but I don't have any more left at the moment. I need to get my nails done anyway. I showed you guys in my last vlog how I did them myself and I was like, yeah, from the distance, they look decent. I thought I was doing a really thin coat, but on some nails, apparently I didn't go thin enough because it kind of like built up in the cuticle a little bit. And then my thumbnail had a crack in it, which I tried to seal with super glue. <laughs> Because I didn't have like nail glue or anything like that or like, you know, acrylic and yeah from the moving and everything it just ripped off so that's messed up and now i have a crack in this finger too and they're just a hot mess so and i'm also really not liking the square shape so i think i'm gonna just go to a salon and get them done again especially because i have a bridal shower that i'm going to this weekend i don't know i just don't want to have like jacked up nails so i'm just going over the roots and i'm just kind of feathering down a little bit like right where it meets with the blonde and i clipped away these money pieces because they don't have any copper in them because i like lightened them all the way up to the root so i don't want to put any root color on those and i'm just going thin section at a time you see how like this section when i pull it over the color is not all the way coming through the other side that means it's too thick of a section there we go because you want to make sure you're fully saturating otherwise it's going to be uneven i like to use the tail of the brush to help me take my sections and honestly i don't really have to go all the way down with this because i don't really have too much of the copper showing underneath here and plus like you're not gonna really see that i mostly just part my hair down the middle sometimes i flip it over a little to the side so as long as i come down to like the tail of my eyebrow on either side that is enough obviously if i was doing this like on a client i would do their whole entire head just to be thorough but oh, whenever i'm doing my own hair i'm just like oh, whatever i don't care <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect it's funny when you become a hairstylist you kind of get to a point where you're just like ugh, you dread doing your own hair even like just blow drying and styling it i'm like ugh back i'm just doing the best i can just lifting it up and just seeing if i see any copper spots and then i'm gonna kind of mush the blonde toner in with the root color so that it's all like blended in i'm gonna brush it through you'll see after i finish applying that just so that way i don't miss any spots and then it's all blended and cohesive now i'm mixing up the liquid glosses oh my god i haven't used these in so long 
and I used to use them a lot when I worked at my old salon in Pennsylvania and the smell just like instantly brings me back so nostalgic okay so I'm gonna just I'm not gonna go all the way up to that dark color just yet because I don't want to like get that on the brush and then drag it down. Hit it from the other side. What's nice about the liquid toners because they're liquid they just saturate a lot more easily so you can apply them pretty quickly and when i'm applying this on the ends i like to go in like quadrants just makes it easier for me to kind of like stay organized so i'll do like right front left front and then left back that way i make sure i'm not missing any spots and you want to go like kind of quickly just because this stuff only has a 20 minute processing time and after the 20 minutes it kind of stops working so I try to get it on there pretty quickly my camera ran out of memory storage but I finished applying all of the color and then all i did was after i finished applying the blonde toner to everything i just took my fingers and i just kind of like mushed where it met with the root color and just kind of like you know smushed it in with my fingers to blend everything and then i set a 20 minute timer when that goes off i'm gonna hop in the shower shampoo and condition i will see you when my hair is done here's how my hair came out at this point, it's kind of dark outside, so I can't really show you in natural light. I'll show you in the morning in natural light how it looks, but you can see it just covered over that copper that was peeking through, darkened up the root area, and just like toned everything down. But I just finished having dinner, so I am going to get back to editing. I'll see you in the morning. It's Tuesday. I am currently on my way to go get a wax. Then I am going to the salon. I just have one client. I originally wasn't gonna work today, but I had someone that wanted to reschedule. So I just have the one client. I've done her hair a few times already. And then after work, I am just gonna go home, pick up my boyfriend, and we're gonna go grocery shopping. And then maybe go for a nice long walk. I told you guys how I helped my friend move this past weekend and I'm still like my legs are still feeling a little sore so I want to just like keep moving so that they don't feel stiff but yeah that is the plan for today so I will see you in a little bit so here was my client's hair before I thought we were just moving her blonde up higher, but she threw me a bombshell and told me she was moving and wanted to just go back brunette so her hair would be really low maintenance. So first I had to fill her hair. So I did 834 with 734. Those are coppery colors. So when you're going from blonde to dark, if you just throw a dark color over the blonde, it's going to be really muddy and flat. So you need to fill it back in with all those warm golden copper colors that you removed from the hair when you originally bleached it. So I did the filler first and then I went in with some dark permanent color. So I did 6B with 6N and a little 5N to make it a little bit more ashy to kind of balance out the copper filler to give us something a little bit more neutral. So this was her finished hair and she also wanted me to leave some of her money pieces out. She just wanted the blonde money piece with solid dark so that was her finish i realized i didn't show you my hair in natural lighting so here is how it looks it looks a little crazy right now because it's super humid outside and my hair is naturally curly and gets very frizzy but i'm really happy with the tone of it just looks softer and 
more refreshed and blended. Currently in the bathroom because my boyfriend is taking a nap and I don't want to disturb him. We desperately need to go grocery shopping. There's nothing in my fridge right now except for a bag of mixed greens and like butter. <laughs> So I made myself a protein smoothie. I put spinach, vanilla protein powder, peanut butter, cinnamon, and unsweetened coconut milk. But anyway, it's been a good day so far. I feel so much better now that I got my wax. And my client, honestly, when I was driving to the salon, I was like, Ugh. I think because it's just been such a busy weekend and then I was like nonstop all day yesterday. I was just feeling tired and I was really not in the mood to foil, wasn't looking forward to it. And when she told me that she just wanted to go back dark, I was like, oh, okay. It still took a while because we had to layer a few different colors and each one had to process for like 20 to 30 minutes, but it was pretty easy. Like it didn't require a lot of work on my end. It was mostly just processing that took majority of the time. And then I cut a couple inches off and added some long layers. So it ended up being really easy, but I am sad. She said that she's moving to Texas. That's part of the reason why she wanted to go back dark because she just wants to be able to just leave her hair and not worry about it until the next time she can come back to visit. So hopefully she will be back whenever she's in town visiting family. I'm gonna finish the rest of this smoothie and go see if he's ready to wake up soon. I will check in with you a little bit later. Good morning. It is, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Delirious. It is a little bit before 7 in the morning. I am on my way to the DMV to finally get my North Carolina driver's license. I have been living down here in Wilmington for just over two and a half years now. And I still have my Pennsylvania driver's license. Okay, like I was trying to say, I pulled up and I already saw that there was a line of people waiting outside and they weren't even open yet. So I was like, um, we're gonna have to pause the vlog for a sec. Um, so yeah, they opened at seven. So I got there like 10 minutes before seven o'clock and there was already like five people in line in front of me. I don't know, I just kept putting it off for the longest time, even though I've already lived here for just over two and a half years now. So many people have told me that the DMVs here just move really slow and it's hard to get an appointment. Like I looked online for an appointment and you have to book the, the appointment months in advance, which I guess I should have just done, but it's hard when my schedule is like so inconsistent week to week. So anyway, I got it done. It's now 9.10, I just got home. There's my picture, I don't love it. But you know what, it's done. That's the most important thing. So I got my temporary for now and then they're gonna mail me my actual physical card in a few days. I parked at the clubhouse because I had to check my mail, which I did have a package. I am accumulating so much stuff for the salon suite. I'll show you when I get back upstairs. I went to Ikea last weekend when I was in Charlotte because we don't have one in my town. So I was, you know, my friend wanted to go and I was like, I'm gonna take advantage of this. So I got a couple things there as well. So let me show you. So this is where I've just been kind of accumulating everything that's gonna go in the suite. And then I have this too over here this stool that i've had for a few years that i got on amazon i miss being able to cut hair from a stool it's just so much better on your back and then this dresser i've had for a few years it's from ikea then everything else that's here is new so let me show you what i have so far as far as like decor and that kind of stuff i'll start with what's on top, the stuff that I got this past weekend from Ikea. I don't know how I'm gonna use this exactly or if I even will. I might just keep it in this room because this room that I'm in right now is 
the second bedroom, which is my guest room slash office. That's the intention, but I have yet to use it as an office because I'm just not there yet. But once I get this dresser out of here and I have everything in the suite set up, then I'm gonna work on this room and like decorating this and making it an office space. So I might put this in the suite, I might keep it in here in the office, but it's this faux animal skin rug. And I love the look of it, but honestly, the main reason I got it, to be honest, is because it was originally like 20 something dollars and it was on clearance for $2.99. I got this for $3. And then I got two of these floating shelves in this natural wood color to sort of, I mean, it's not a perfect match to the dresser the color is slightly off but same idea because the suite the walls are kind of like an off-white and then all the furniture that they're providing like the shampoo bowl and the actual salon chair is all like black and white and then the mirror has a gold trim so i want to break that up with some natural wood my branding colors are like a sage green, like different shades of sagey green and cream, tan, just really like earthy tones. They were $25 each. I got two of them and they're pretty big, so they should fit a lot. And I'm thinking these will go above where the shampoo bowl is. And this is where I'll put like towels and my shampoo and conditioner and that kind of stuff. Then, this chair this actually was very kindly sent to me by the company lubona i hope i'm saying that right it is the athena armchair it's so cute and really really comfortable i want to put that in the corner i'm thinking like over by the windows it's just so that way like if somebody brings someone else with them to their appointment that person will have somewhere to sit it's a good place for me to sit while my client's processing, um, while I'm checking people out, that kind of stuff. Or if I'm just like, you know, waiting around between clients. This is the website and this exact chair. It comes in a few different colors as well. I got it in the beige color, but it comes in a bunch of different colors and different finishes too. I think different types of fabric. Yeah, they have like a faux leather one. That's really pretty. I love it. And it's a great price, especially for like the quality and the comfort. Like I honestly was really surprised because I didn't necessarily want to spend a lot of money or get anything that was like super fancy and expensive, especially because it's going to be in a salon. So like there's a good chance that it's going to get stained and whatever. So I just wanted like something that would be functional and also like decorative. But this is like really, really comfortable. I could sit in this all day. They gave me a discount code that you guys can use. So I'll put a link and the code down in the description. And then I also, this was the package that I just picked up. It's all tied up in the box and I don't want to take it out. It'll just be easier to transport it like this. But it is a faux olive tree. It's the same one that I already have in my apartment that I have in my bedroom right now. I will link it on Amazon. It's like the most affordable one that I have found online and amazing quality. Like it looks really good. And then I also recently was in World Market and I saw these bowls that were on sale. So I got two of them. They're so cool. And I just had to get these because these are like my colors for the salon like this kind of sagey grayish green so i got those to mix bleach in i have like my regular plastic color bowls too but i just thought that these would look really fancy also because they're so huge they can hold a lot at a time that way especially if i'm doing someone that has like a lot of hair i don't have to keep remixing and then i have some dossier reed diffusers that I am saving. I got another Amazon, and I want to trigger yours if you have one. Definitely need that to play music in the salon. And it's also really convenient 
because you can like you know have it set timers for you and stuff like that that is very helpful especially if i'm like toning someone's hair and i have like color all over my hands and then i got this candle from target this is my favorite candle that they have there it's a coconut soy wax blend and it's the scent olive leaf and ode it's from the threshold brand it just it looks so pretty and again it's like my brand colors which worked out perfectly because this is like my favorite scent my favorite candle but yeah i think that's pretty much it for the decor stuff everything else that's up here like these bins are my like at home color stash um that i'm just gonna keep over there and then like that picture i'm not bringing with me that's not really the vibe anymore it's just kind of been in here for storage and like that lamp that is probably not going but i'm so excited i did get an update on the suite it's been delayed already like several times which i kind of figured would happen because it's new construction but at this point the construction is completely done they were there this past weekend installing all of the furniture in the rooms i'll put a video up to show you guys at this point i think they're just waiting on like the permits and their certificate of occupancy and then state board has to come approve everything before we can get the okay to start taking clients. But I'm really happy with my decision to get a room with the window because it is more expensive, but just seeing that video, and granted the lights weren't on in the rooms obviously, but just seeing how like dark and cold and like bleh, the other rooms feel and then you come around the corner and you see my room and it's just so bright and it feels so much bigger and more open even though it's not i'm really excited about that and i know my clients are gonna love it and i'm just so excited i just can't wait to be in there already i feel like i've been talking about it for years now <laughs> but yeah that is the latest update on that so if you're not already following me on instagram make sure you go follow me on my hair page at styled by sam Vay. that's where i post regularly i try to post on there every single day and any updates will be shared on there first i am gonna end this vlog here so i can go edit it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check the description for that link and discount code to magic mind as well as the link and discount code to this chair and yeah i'll see you really soon in my next video bye